حول الدور الرئيسي والمحوري للقطاع الخاص في دعم أجندة العمل المناخي وأهمية التحالفات الدولية لتحفيز هذا الدور يحدثنا الآن الدكتور مارك كارني الرئيس التنفيذي لتحالف جلاسكو المالي والمبعوث الخاص للأمم المتحدة للعمل المناخي والتمويل فليتفضل Mr. President, Deputy Secretary General, Excellencies, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to say a few words at this important event. We're here at a critical juncture emphasized by John Kerry. We're 60 days from COP27, as you know, and we're a quarter of the way through what must be the decade of delivery for the transition to a sustainable world. The stakes could not be higher, particularly in Africa, where climate change poses profound risks that threaten to undo recent decades of progress. And above all, to go back to the science, Africa is in the unjust position of having contributed the least to the problem, only 3% of cumulative emissions, despite having 17% of global population, contributing the least to the problem, but suffering its worst effects. But within this growing crisis, crisis as Odile has mentioned that's joined by others, there are significant opportunities for Africa. And I'd like to commend the Egyptian government for convening this important event and for the spirit of this event, which is to deepen cooperation and collaboration so that countries across Africa can finance and develop resilient, clean, and vibrant economies. Mr. President, it's said that fortune favors the bold, and we see evidence of your boldness in this amazing capital in your economic reforms. In climate, for finance, finance favors the ambitious. The building blocks of sustainability are ambitious national climate commitments, bankable projects to achieve them, and the capital to finance them, and all of them require public and private cooperation. In particular, we need to work together to create new ways of mobilizing capital to overcome long-standing barriers to sustainable development in Africa. And this will require bold actions by donor governments and multilateral development banks to address the risks that the private sector cannot readily shoulder. As the Deputy Secretary General said, and I'm paraphrasing, we need radical change, and John re-emphasized this, radical change to the Bretton Woods system to accomplish that. It will also require the development of well-functioning, high-integrity carbon markets. And it will require the private sector to follow through, to deploy capital at scale to investment opportunities that are aligned with net zero commitments. And in this last respect, this prospect has been created by the commitment of many of the world's largest financial institutions to manage their collective balance sheets, which total over $130 trillion, to manage those balance sheets, to move those balance sheets in line with the Paris Agreement. And now it's the time to turn that pledge, those pledges, uh, into action. So GFAN's members are working with governments, multilateral development banks, and private philanthropy to develop new approaches to scale private capital flows to developing economies. These range from large-scale country platforms or so-called jet peas. They can include uh, innovative platforms like Nuefe, and I commend you, Dr. Rania, for leading that effort. And they include catalytic initiatives such as the Climate Finance Leadership Initiative and Fast Infrastructure that can deliver capital to a wide range of developing economies. 
GFANS will use its expertise to help structure and finance these projects. We'll use our convening power to encourage governments and multilateral development banks to provide the necessary concessional finance for just transition and adaptation in Africa. And we'll advise on how existing commitments can better crowd in and scale private capital. And that's why I'm excited to announce today the launch at this International Cooperation Forum of the GFANS Africa Network, chaired by my good friend, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Mohudin. If you want something done, give it to a busy uh, person, and he is busy. Um, <laughs> this GFANS Africa Network is about bringing private capital to Africa, bringing GFANS to Africa, but it's about really bringing Africa to GFANS because we cannot support African sustainable development without the perspective of the local financial leaders who are spearheading these efforts. Finally, let me say that we know that sustainability is about much more than mitigation, something that Egypt's uh, strategies, its policies, its actions demonstrate. There will be no sustainability without growth, without resilience, and without adaptation. And the contributions, therefore, of the private sector must be as broad. Now, for GFANS members, as the name suggests, Glasgow Financial Alliance for Net Zero, Net Zero is the primary, or the first motivation, to address barriers to finance in Africa. But within this goal, critically, it includes not just investment in finance in the green energies of the future, the energies that are at the center of your strategy, but also to helping to finance the managed phase-out of legacy assets, such as addressed by the president of the EBRD. And in this way, the expertise and the capital of private finance can help Africa and the world move from pledges to action. Thank you very much. Thank you.